Hello everyone, this is Tunet, your pharmacy assistant. Welcome back to my channel, The Simplicity Vlog. In this video guys, I would like to share on how or the proper way of taking in the birth control. So what is the birth control? What is the benefits of taking the birth control? Vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. The ovaries produce two hormones, which is the estrogen and progesterone. As the level of estrogen begins to rise, it causes normally thick mucus inside the cervix to thin out. Estrogen is also triggers other hormones to cause of the ovaries to release an egg. This process is called ovulation. Two kinds of birth control, the combination pills or the COCS and the progestin only pill. Combination pills is a combination of two hormones which is the estrogen and progesterone. Usually comes in 28 day packs depending on the brand of pill. The first 21 to 24 pills are active pills because they contain hormones. The last four to seven pills are inactive or reminded pill that don't contain any hormones. Inactive pills allow the hormones level to a body to draw so that the bleeding during menstrual cycles can occur. Progestin only pills or mini pills, it only contains progestin, which is to prevent pregnancy. It also prevents ovulation, thickening cervical mucus, and thicken out uterine lining. It also no estrogen and it is all active. Menstrual bleeding with progestin only pills. It is throughout the month and it's only once every month and there is no bleeding at all. For the highest protection against pregnancy, it is important to take progestin only pills at the same time every day. So you need or if you take that pill, you need to take it the same time every day. For example, you, you brush your teeth and then you take your pill the following day and so on and so forth until it ends or it's already finished you have to take the pills at the same times in every day you don't need to drink out to take that for example you take that at 7 p.m and then the following day you take that on 6 p.m and the other day you take that at 10 p.m that's wrong or it's very incorrect or it's not the proper way of taking in the birth control so there's a tendency if you do that which is the incorrect way of taking in the pills there is a tendency that you will be become pregnant so in order that you will not be able to be to be pregnant you need to do it correctly both progestin only pills and combination pills are about 99 percent it is just correctly and or if you do it correctly 99% active to prevent pregnancy but if you didn't do it correctly 92% you will become pregnant so what do you prefer of course or by taking it correctly so that you will not become pregnant so the two package of birth control it has a round and rectangular because the estrogen it is round and then the the other one is rectangular which is 28 day packs the common birth control pack used from nowadays or everybody take that or that what they use in order to prevent pregnancy the 28 day pack there are two different colors in 28 packs which is the active hormones and sugar pills when taking sugar pills is the time when you have your period taking birth control pills is to prevent 
pregnancy, it is also the most common way. So, if you do it correctly, 3 out of 1,000 person will be pregnant. But if you do it incorrectly, 9 of 1,000 will be pregnant. Here in the Philippines, most of the women use trust or the preferred to you trust heels or lady heels. These are the example of combination pill. It is uh, 28 packs because there is 21 tablet which is active in hormones and this one is the sugar pill. How to take it perfectly or correctly? So you need to take your pill every single day at the same time to work the pill properly. So as I have said a while ago that when you want that you will not be pregnant, you need to do it correctly at the same time. It means that every day you need to take it the same time or you need to set an alarm to remind you to take the pill so that you will not be able to forget what time you usually do it in order not to be pregnant. There is an antibiotic that can decrease the effectiveness of your birth control pills. So if you take an antibiotic and then you take the birth control pills, be sure to consult the doctor before anything else so that there's no problem will come out. So how to start the pills? You can start the pills by Sunday start. You start the first Sunday after the first day of your last period. Or you can start in quick start which means you start any day you want to or the first day of the last period less than a week ago go ahead and start the pills but then you need to have a negative pregnancy test before you can do it so you can also start it first day of your last period started more than seven days or if there is an unprotected sex more than five days ago you can start the pills when you should not take the combination pills or the cocs take note remember this it's very important that you know when you will not be able to take the combination pills first if you are 35 plus and you smoke 15 cigarettes a day so you cannot be able to take the combination pills for the birth control and then you have a multiple risk factor for heart disease hypertension or high blood pressure known heart disease stroke heart valve disease breast cancer diabetes liver problems and migraines with a rest when taking birth control there is also a benefit so what if what benefits if you take the pills so it's control the flow the time cycles to your schedule or improve mood health pms or the premenstrual syndrome lower risk for cancer uh, which is the uterine lining colon and ovaries so that's the benefits if you take the pills also improve acne and improve cramping and pelvic pain with cycles but there is a lot of questions that everybody asking so first question what if I don't start a period on a sugar pill? So, do at home pregnancy test if negative. So, just start to the next pack on schedule. 1% of the women do not have period while taking their sugar pills. They are lucky. Number two, what if bleed in the middle or what if I bleed in the middle of the pack? You need to keep taking the pills as though nothing was happened. 
stay on the back schedule. Do not start and restart by your bleeding. What if I don't like what I feel unless it's serious? Do not stop taking until you finish the pack. So if it is not serious what you feel, go on. But if it's serious, of course, you need to ask the doctor what kind of birth control you need to take in. So the bottom line is, do not begin using birth control if your goal is to enhance your breast size. For few women they experience changes in their breast size, any changes that do not occur are often only temporarily. So the only permanent way to enhance breast size is through cosmetic surgery. So if you, that's only you think that you want to take the pills in order that it will enhance your breast, better not to take the pills because that's not the proper way so that you obtain what you want the size of your breast. So guys, I hope you like my video and then I hope that you learn even a little one or I know somehow you learn or you understand what I'm talking here. It's only sharing on how to take the pills properly. So thank you, thank you very much. This is Lynette saying thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you're new in my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button so that you will be updated in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and comment what kind of or any kind of medicines you want to know and then I will share it to you and to the other people all over the world. So be happy, don't be sad because we really our lives we only live once so again this is Sunet thank you very much for my subscribers appreciate it much because I know that there's someone who likes and loves of what I'm doing here so I am very happy that there is someone likes my video so again this is Sunet thank you thank you thank you thank you very much until next time see you Bye.